A grim number tonight in Massachusetts. The death toll has nearly doubled in one week with a record 221 new deaths listed in today's update. We also saw more than 1,700 new cases diagnosed, the first increase in new cases in the past six days. As WBZ's Ken McLeod reports, the outbreak has intensified despite strict social distancing measures and contact tracing aimed at slowing the transmission. The governor urged folks not to draw any surge conclusions from the numbers these last few days. He says the surge is still here and now, and the state launched something new today to, quote, expand the universe of testing. At the Neighborhood Health Center in East Boston, we found Joseph getting tested for COVID-19 after his bus driver cousin came up positive. I live with my wife. I'm a diabetic. I got uh, severe asthma. Even though there's been a line here at times, Joseph's doctor got him an appointment in less than an hour. Don't let that line discourage you. Get tested, man. This community health center is one of a dozen that will now get a share of 2,200 daily kits to both test and set the stage for contact tracing as the state goes hyper local to reach high need areas. Part of our statewide monitoring focuses on hot spots or high density areas where the virus can spread quickly. This center will now test seven days a week, also serving Chelsea, Revere, and Everett, hot spots with dense housing that includes many immigrants. What was an American dream for me is turning into a nightmare for others. This community center in Brockton is also tackling the expanded testing challenge with help from the state and Quest Diagnostics. We are at the epicenter right now of numbers and loss of life. Back in Eastie, Yvette Hardy and her 77-year-old husband don't see the need yet. If the test was free to the public with no symptoms, I'd go in and get one. But uh, I've been holding back because I don't feel like I'm at the front line. But Joseph, who just tested negative, now feels like he's done his due diligence to stop the spread. To know if I'm going to have something that could hurt someone else or hurt me, it's a 15 minute well spent time. The next step for Joseph will be a call from contract tracers that'll show up as MA COVID team on his phone. If you get such a call, the governor is urging you to answer it. At the State House tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken, thank you. We are learning more about the third.